Akim just left. She said those smoke signals at the train station could be grill cranes. But I saw a bunch of scabs going after her. You gotta get up there. Wait here. I'm trying to contact Orkin, but her phone is dead. Oh, I hope she's okay. She probably turned her phone off. Either that or she's sick of constant texting. Did she at least go armed? She's always prepared. She had a baseball bat and a book on how to tie knots. Clever girl. I'm at the bottom of the station. It looks like a whole scab legion is occupying this place. is in a garbage truck, but they didn't garbage know where. Truck, huh? Man, the whole garbage system is automated. The trucks are equipped with GPS transmitters. If you come back to our base, I might be able to figure out a way to track it down. Okay, cool. I'm on my way. Wait. 
How do we communicate with Sam when neither of us is holding a phone? Uh, you know, technology. Technology. Let's not complicate things by poking holes in the way we deliver the story, okay? Oh, okay then. I'm gonna go back to the base and be magically gone by the time you have control. Fine by me. That's not weird at all. Hey, man, I found a new place to set up shop. More square footage, better feng shui. Come on over whenever you get a chance. I learned a few other things while I was interrogating those scabs. They said they were working with Norton. He was supplying them with plans for upgraded weapons in return for protection. Asshole! I bet he sent them to the train station as soon as he hung up with me. I would go kick his butt right now, but he has the rest of the troop on his side. The only way we're going to win them over is to find Thrill Cream and return him to the troop. We're working on that right now. I need to do some research into the garbage truck system. Their signals are analog. Blech. Tough to track down. Call me when you figured it out. You bet. Troop Bushido? Not surprised those kids survived. They were always prepared for anything. What do you think of the place? Don't worry, you can still go back to the brewery if you want. Uh, but this base will let us brew some new amps. I installed another vat, so make sure you check in on both vats often. We got ourselves a nice corner spot here, but that means we'll need to protect the base from two angles. Like I said, we got two vats now, which means better amps, but more vigilance, you know? The vats all pull from the same source, so we'll lose overcharge if either one gets attacked. Remember to use your traps, and you should do just fine, for the most part. up all that energy. If you want some energy back, you can just pick up any trap you already placed.
sure to equip those amps and let me know how you like them. Track down that garbage truck and find Brill Cream. Go pick up the analog hacker I sent your way. Fork him and I worked through the night on this. It's pretty brilliant if you ask me. Oh, right. So anyway, we need you to get to a satellite dish nearby. We'll explain on the way. Dishes are the best tool to help us find Brill Cream. Right. You see, by using the dishes, we can triangulate his last known position. You know, our troop has a monthly T hunt, which stands for Transmitter Hunt, where someone sets up a transmitter in the forest. Then we all walk around with parabolic receivers. And you plot the position of the transmitter by triangulating two vectors to the source. Yeah, it's really fun. We only get a compass and a paper map. One of you has a nerdgasm. I'll use the dishes to find the missing dude, but you can't expect me to listen to your public radio show about it. Dish. We need to find Grill Cream Signal. Okay, you're patched in. Let's test it out. Aim the dish at the museum. But true, Master, I could have sworn I heard. These are dangerous times, and dangerous times call for us to become men. Do you understand? We should just give up on Grill Cream? Isn't our motto to not give up the rain, snow, or sleet? You don't need him anymore. You have me. Son of a beeswax! I will twist off his tiny little... Okay, sounds like it's working. Aim around and listen for the truck's beeping transmission. The needle will top out with a clear audio signal. Hey, I got weapons for sale here. Give me your guns. You can't hold up a guy who sells guns without a gun. Can you loan me a gun? Yeah, sure thing, pal. Weapons for sale. I got weapons for sale here. Nope, not there. Where's that troop master guy? He got stuffed in a garbage truck. That lot off Bushido Street? Yep. Why don't we just kill him? Norton didn't want us to. I think he's, uh, morally conflicted. Well, I ain't conflicted. Me neither. We ain't fed him in weeks. <laughs> That's not him. me right now. Please bring me some cheese sauce. The kind with the little jalapenos in it. Nope, not there. Hold on. Oh, 
that sounds right. Fourteen million one hundred thousand and twelve, Mississippi. Fourteen million one hundred thousand and thirteen, Mississippi. That's him. Yes, I'm recording the vector of your dish. Visco, backtraced our hack. Watch out. Is that jammer active? We'll never be able to triangulate Brokeroom's position with a second satellite dish. You have to destroy that jammer. So, for Kim, do you have a boyfriend? No. Okay. Well, um... No. Oh, Sam, you are smooth. So smooth. marked on your map. Why don't I just follow the... No, that's not how triangulation works. Better listen to her. She can be... What? Right. All the time. Foreshadowing or anything. Dun dun dun! He could be near that hunting guy's tree fort. I'm telling you, that guy cooking all them crazy drinks. It's him, but that punk's been jumping around killing us for ages. Just a hired goon. That Floyd guy, he's the hero of this game. Well, each man creates a universe in which he is the center. Nah, reality is an objective state. Subjectivism is hubris. Nope, not there. Hey, look at them fish. So? We've been eating garbage for weeks. Why don't we eat them fish? You crazy? I bet they're poisonous. What? Yeah, them's fugu. You gotta be a max level sushi chef to cut them right. That's a catfish with a paint job. That's not him. When I wake up in the morning, first thing I do is clean my guns. God gave us the second amendment to keep us pure. And man created the first so he could preach it. Nope, not there.
Funk is here. Start the crusher. Let's talk this over, son. You, you don't have to. Ah! Ah! survivalist uh perhaps you would like to join my troop i'm not wearing a sash well your skills are top notch i would like you to escort me to my troop sure um back to the troop headquarters quickly Those creatures are coming this way. How long were you trapped in there? 16 days, 20 hours, 8 minutes. It's amazing that you are still alive. I'm a survivalist. Do what it takes. Ah! 
How did you find me? That's kind of my thing. When people are in trouble, I grind over with some guns and kill all the trouble away. Do you have a spare weapon? I will help you fight. Uh, not to be rude, but you don't have any trigger fingers or toes. I think I'll manage. True Master Brill Cream? I... How did you... <clears throat> We've been looking everywhere for you, sir. Why did you have to look for me when you already knew where I was? What are you doing? Open this door! North! It is time for you to face the consequences of your actions. I'll drink it! Don't be a coward. Take your punishment like a man. Norton! No! Run, troops! Kim, I want to thank you for your loyalty and persistence. Your character and actions are worthy of commendation. Thank you, sir. As for your friend? <laughs> you can keep your commendation. I just want you to tell me how to get out of the city. Hmm, that is a difficult proposition. Fisco has blocked all exit routes. I'm afraid there is no escape. Seriously? Fuck! Unless... I need a pencil. Paper! <laughs> Done! Bring these plans to my friend Ignatius, head of the shipbuilders union. You should find him near the harbor. This guy's gonna build a ship? Better than that. He's gonna give you a way out of the city. Uh, so what?
one thing you should know about this guy, Ignatius. He's a hardcore LARPer. Uh, what the hell is a LARPer? Live action role player? You mean those dorks with foam swords who go out into the woods and yell lightning bolts at each other? It's fantasy fulfillment, and it's a lot cooler than that, but, uh, yes. Okay, so he's a LARPer. Why do I care? Well, I heard that he was in the park with a bunch of other LARPers on Horror Night. When they got attacked by OD, they all kind of got psychologically broken. <laughs> Don't you mean more psychologically broken? Just be careful. Come on, they're LARPers. They gonna shoot me with a foam arrow? <laughs> Hey, it's Floyd. You you probably knew that. I made a new base for us in the harbor. Perfect place to cook up some new amps. It's amazingly amazing. When this is over, I'm gonna buy you a thesaurus. <laughs>